Atlanta right now where police are working to find who shot a man overnight near Centennial Olympic Park. CBS 46 is Tracen Bragg in downtown Atlanta right now. And Tracen, that man actually died at the hospital, we're told. That's right, Karen. Well, investigators say he actually died at Grady Hospital. We'll get more into that in just a few moments. But I want to give you an idea of exactly where I'm at. I'm actually near the intersection of Honeycutt Street and Centennial Olympic Park Drive, just steps away from Georgia Tech's campus and, of course, very close to the park. You're taking a look now at the parking lot in which homicide investigators were searching for clues this morning. Atlanta homicide investigators say they received an emergency call of a person shot around 4.30 this morning. They say when they arrived to this apartment complex, they found a man believed to be in his 50s outside of the building suffering from at least one gunshot wound. He was rushed to Grady Hospital where investigators say he later died. Homicide detectives didn't share the exact location of where the shooting took place, but we saw them photographing and looking for clues inside this black Volkswagen. Right now, there is no word on a motive, but police say they are learning that there was some type of argument before the shots rang out. At this time, they believe they're looking for one suspect, but investigators did not share any identification or description of that gunman. Violence is violence, however you're going to put it. It don't matter if you know the person or not. You know, it's not cool. You can't sit there and just up and shoot somebody. Now, I will say that the residents of this building, this uh, complex rather, that we spoke to were very shaken up after the shooting. Of course, they want to know more as we want to know more. So we're going to continue to fight for details. And as soon as we get the very latest details, you can count on CBS 46 to let you know them first. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, I'm Tracy Bragg, CBS 46 News.